Hey, this is Frank. We're looking at our K20 engine that we're preparing to swap into an MR2 Spider. In, in this video, we're going to um, do some of the steps we need with the fuel system. Specifically, we're going to remove the injectors and send them to cleaning because we don't know how long these injectors have been sitting in. When injectors sit for a while, they have a the tendency to get clogged up and this will really negatively affect the running of the car if we don't address it. So the first step to remove these injectors is to disconnect them from the engine harness. In every injector has a connector that has two clips, one on each side and we squeeze them together and pull on the connector. It comes off. So we do that with all four injectors. And get them out of the way. Then we'll get the uh, harness off of the rail and it has a little clip that holds it in place. So you just loosen it up and pull on it. And now there's one more thing. There's a engine harness ground right back here. It's a M6 bolt with a six millimeter head. So let's unfasten that. So that was on pretty tight. And this is a very important ground. It's essential for the proper running of the engine. So must remember to put that back when we reinstall the fuel rail. So now the uh, uh, harness is off. The rail is held down by these two studs with nuts. We're going to spray these with a little bit of penetrating oil. But before we try to uh, move, remove these nuts, we're going to disconnect the fuel rail um, from the fuel feed hose. And that's on this side over here. So let's take a closer look at that. The fuel feed hose is right down here, connects to the rail right here with a quick disconnect. These two green tabs have to be squeezed together. Then you can pull the fitting back. Let's go ahead and do that. So there, that took a little bit of effort and uh, the locking part of this fitting is still on the rail. We'll just set it in here so it does not get lost. And there's an O-ring in the bottom of that fitting that stays right there. Now the rail is free from the feed hose. We can go ahead and turn these two fastening nuts that hold it down onto the studs. They have 12 millimeter heads. Both nuts are off. The next step to remove this rail is to disconnect it from the fuel injectors. And each injector has a metal retainer clip that keeps it secured. 
to the rail. We're going to remove these injector clips one by one. They can just be pried off. Next we're going to spray some penetrating oil on the injector seats to loosen them up a bit and we are going to try to just pry this, pry this rail off. There. One side is moving, the other side is moving. And here comes the entire rail with the injectors attached. So next we're going to spray some more penetrating oil onto the injector fittings and we'll see if this loosens them up a little bit. So these injectors, if they've been sitting for a while, they can be stuck pretty good inside the rail. And uh, there's some fluid left in here, some fuel left in here too. Let's pour it out to the side. Okay. So with a little bit of effort and pulling side to side, we can get these out one by one. And definitely the uh, definitely the penetrating oil was a big help in making this happen and uh, the injectors are all out and they're ready to go to be cleaned so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in this series.